here's a good spot that I wanted to show you guys. This is on my drive to work. This is where they're doing a lot of uh, road construction. And so it's always cool to see how it handles through here because I think this is where uh, Navigate on Autopilot shines. Uh, as you'll see how well it keeps me in the lanes, um, keeps me away from other cars at certain sections. Now, with that said, I can't like blaze through this going 80 miles an hour, but usually 75 miles an hour, it can handle pretty well. Um, 70 miles an hour is the best like that you saw that it, it went a little close to the right um, it tends to like go towards the right for some reason even if the lane is wider um, it'll typically go to the right and see it's having a lane change right now I have it on automatic lane change so all I have to do is hold on to the steering wheel apply a little pressure and it's gonna uh, lane change by itself but I'm um, not quite sure what it's wanting here. It better not be like taking me off the exit because sometimes it, with the road construction, it like wants to take me off the exit. Here's another interesting thing, like when you're going by a semi, it'll automatically slow down right when you get near it. So um, it's always a little nerve wracking even when you don't have full self drive on to go next to a semi in my opinion. Uh, now, now with all this said, this actually is supposed to be a 65 mile an hour road, and I've got to go in 75, so I just wanted to test how well it was going to handle all of this. Um, and it has the drains here. I don't really like being where, where the drains are on the freeway, so I'm going to move over. Um, but as you can see, it handles it like a champ. It's uh, it really, really, really does a good job. Uh, right up here is where it gets a little bit more windy again. Um, I, shoot, I should have lane changed over one more so I could show you, but I'll do it right now. The semi is going extra slow for some reason. And it still wants me to lane change into this lane for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. Um, I don't know why full self-driving or navigate on autopilot does that, but it has like particular lanes that it really, really wants you to be in for whatever reason. Um, right now, I don't know if it's internet connectivity. Oh yeah, see, it was like wanting me to get off the exit for some reason that used to be um, designed a little bit different. It doesn't really know this freeway yet. And as you can see, the, the map even showed me off the freeway. And so maybe that's why I wanted to be the lane change early. I'm glad that I moved over because I wouldn't have wanted to get off that exit right there. So still a little quirky in how the map works and how you navigate. Um, with that said though, I mean, it's, I'm doing it on not only beta software, but during construction. Here's another section um, that can be kind of complicated on my drive to work uh, for Navigate on Autopilot. This exit that's going to come up here, it tends to give either Autopilot or Navigate on Autopilot a little bit of trouble. Um, and it was funny, my dad, I was talking to him about it last night too, and um, he said, you know, it gives regular drivers problems too, especially when the freeway is busy. Um, right now, I, I drive into work, as you can see there, it's like 4.25 a.m. So I'm on the road pretty early, so I don't typically deal with a lot of drivers on the road. Uh, so this one's not terrible for it, but you'll see how Navigate on Autopilot still has issues um, with, with how the freeway exit is designed. It's designed uh, with state streets like right off of it. I'm moving over because that semi is like swaying towards me. I don't know if you guys saw that, but um, State Street is the exit that's like right off of this. And then it has to merge over before it spits you off the exit. And it's pretty quick. Um, I'm going to let it just do its thing. So I'll let it slow down to how fast it'll go. This curve looks a lot like more intense than it is in person, but um, you can usually go around about 70, 75 around this, but it drops us down to 60, which is good. 
it's probably in preparations to try and merge over right here. Now there's a good chance I'm gonna have to take over, but uh, always have your hand on the steering wheel, not only so that you don't have to deal with it getting mad at you for not driving and not taking over, but just so you can take over in the event that it doesn't do something. Yep, see, did you see that? So it, it failed, I don't know why it does it really well sometimes, and then other times it does what it did where it like, swerves back over but as you did as you saw i didn't adjust the speed at all i just kind of let it do its thing so watch what happens oh hey the new update must have fixed it because it's never done that before right connected to this and we've got to get over a lane um, on this and so it actually one cool thing about this turn here is it'll take it at a decent speed still but when it merges over here, it actually doesn't. Oh, no, that time it did, that's weird. Usually it does a pretty smooth move over, but this time it pumped the brake a little bit. All right, here we go. Let's see if I have to take over for it or if it's gonna be able to move over in time. Hey, it did it. Awesome. All right, we're coming up on another complicated part of my drive. There's a fork in the road right here, so it's like making sure I take over. This part's actually a lot sharper than it looks, and so I always have my hand on the steering wheel because sometimes it takes that really well, other times it doesn't. Um, but as you'll see right up here, um, coming off of this exit, it's a pretty complicated exit for navigate on autopilot to do, and it'll, Last time I did this, it actually just kicked me out. So I'm actually gonna drop it down to 65, which is the speed limit, to see if that'll help it. But um, here's the exit coming up right here. And if it does what I think it will, it'll just kick me out. Yep, see, it just says the takeover. Um, as you can see, this is a really, really sharp turn and in a lane that ends up merging back over and I don't think navigate on autopilot likes how this setup is and uh, just parts where they're still improving how it's going to handle more complicated exits like this one in the future um, since it's in beta it's always good to try and use it each time because anytime it kicks you out like that the data gets sent to tesla i think i've spoke about that in other videos before but that's how they improve the navigate on autopilot and so I wanted to show you guys that and show you just um, some of the complications that come with the software when you're trying to do that but once again still still beta software so you, you can't rely on it to take you all the way to your destination yet but we're getting closer and closer pretty exciting stuff